John Tron Starcade, Episode 2, X Wing. You know, when I first got in this thing, I wasn't so sure, but this baby's actually pretty all right. She's got some moves, even if she isn't all hunk of junk. There we go. He said, he said the funny. If he didn't say the funny, I was going to say the funny. The hunk of junk meme returns. <laughs> Amazing. But what would be really cool is if I What old I'm sorry, what old slapstick YouTube humor? Like it's incredibly blunt, right? Like explosion, right? Ouch. Ouch. That is such an old YouTube ism down to the font, and I absolutely miss it. But what would be really cool is if I got to fly an X Wing. And lucky yeah. for me, they made good on that because they made a game called X Wing in 1993 that lets you simulate the real deal. I remember my dad got, uh, there's a whole series of them. My dad had a uh, one of the old X Wing games on our like Windows 95. Oh my, and he had a flight stick as well with it. It, it, it was. I think it probably sparked my passion for gaming. I'm not even really into flight sims or stuff like that. It is just amazing, just the quality of it back in the day. It was next level. X-Wing was very advanced yep. for its time. Its game yes, engine it was. was the first to use higher detailed 3D polygonal graphics rather than bitmaps. And I know that means a lot to you out there. What are you, a bunch of nerds, huh? You don't yeah. know what this means? It means it was <laughs> kick ass. It was. Welcome to the flagship independent. You must register. Well... Are you going to do something about it if I don't? Are you going to get Bicentennial <laughs> yeah. Man up there to come down here and give me a stern talking to? Arriving at the Hidden Rebel Combat Training Facilities. Okay, let's talk about the word hidden. Not sure planet-sized space stations fall under that umbrella. Uh, it does. I mean, it depends on the lore. I mean, like cloaking devices. This could be theoretically in Star Wars somewhere in the Outer Rim, right? You know, somewhere outside of normal galactic uh, Im uh, Imperial... Uh, like patrols and stuff like that. I mean, it, I understand the 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 joke is there. I understand it. On the other side of it, though, I mean, there, there's many ways that you could do it in sci-fi. They go into this one. Ah. Nice. Cover the attack by engaging any escort fighters. Amazing. <laughs> you all right, dude? You looking for a fly? You got an itch? What's going on with you? So after your dizzying chat with that fellow, you get to select your X-wing pilot. Yes. Ever since mankind first walked the Earth, they dreamed of gaining the technology necessary to destroy each other over petty issues in yes. space with lasers. The yeah, that is kind of a, an innate human thing to just war with one another, 100%. Graphics are actually really good for DOS. Keep in mind, most games at the time looked like this. Yeah, they did. Oh, that's the real graphics. It's like I'm really there. All right, everyone, we fought long and hard to be here. Let's take the fight straight to Vader's doorstep. Ross Leader, you inbound? I don't see you on my radar. Uh, no, I'm, I'm Wait a minute. lost. Wait, oh my god. Oh, oh, there are references here. I can't remember who this is. That's going to show my age. Well, like one that I'm old and I forget stuff is what I mean by that. Is this Robert Ross? How, 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 are, you, how are you guys? What the are you face. talking about? Can you give me a visual? Any landmarks? Water? Yeah. Fish. Russ, are you in the ocean? De definitely the bottom of the ocean. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> whale! <laughs> Sperm whale! Whale. Right, well, Mark, do you copy? Uh, yeah. Oh my God. That is, that is Markiplier. Oh my. Oh, I feel like some core memory has been unlocked. I completely forgot about this. Uh, I saw a lady, she had red hair and a wizard-like school bus, and oh now God, trapped yes. inside Arnold. Miss Frizzle, you absolute legend. Who? Arnold. Arnold, the one with the glasses. Yeah. He ate an olive with me in it, and now I am inside him, and I have to help him beat strep throat. Yeah. What? I'm sorry, yeah. Sean. Arnold needs me. I understand Markiplier in this 100%. Arnold needs him. Oh, no. <laughs> that only leaves. <laughs> hey, John, I was here to help. No, no, get out of here, goblin head boy. I don't want you. <laughs> Why? Yeah, like my hands. Uh. All right, that's it. I'm blowing the whole thing. <laughs> there also exists a special edition, which I personally think lost the charm of the original, but it's still pretty good. I can see it though. I have similar things with. Uh, let's play Baldur's Gate. Everyone's gonna be like, Baldur's Gate three. What do you mean? No, Baldur's Gate one. 
Baldur's Gate 1 versus Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. So many of you will remember, and yes, I am very biased. I do like the Sauron, Saravok style armor. Absolutely. Take that as you will. Um, Saravok in the original Baldur's Gate 1, uh, there was the entire cinematic where uh, the knight had fled to the rooftop. Saravok kicks open the door and chokes the knight and then throws him into the ra- into the, 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 the thing on the top, right? The, the railing, and then uh, falls to the floor, right? And there was that whole animation. But in the enhanced edition, uh, many of you in, ch- in uh, the comment section are like, oh my god, I remember that. Kip, how do you remember this? Baldur's Gate was another one. I, I-, I will be streaming Baldur's Gate 1 at some point, I assure you. It, it is a game that's near and dear to my heart. But, um... In the remake, in the remaster, enhanced edition, if you will, they made it this weird comic book style thing. And so going back to something like I was watching Dark Lore Dash is uh, Diablo 2, like retrospect or Diablo 2 story, right? And seeing some of the cutscenes in that, like Deckard Kane's face, seeing some of the cutscenes between like, uh, was, it, was it Ball? I think it might have been Ball. Uh, seeing some of the cinematics and stuff. It's very invocative of this era in gaming and so when you transition to something like this which in my brain counts as you know Baldur's Gate 1 versus this being Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition you lose a lot of that early PC gaming magic if you have not checked it out look up Baldur's Gate 1 intro cutscene and you should you should be able to find it it goes hard another great I'm- thing about this game is it has those strange DOS era cutscenes that are just so fun to watch due in no small part to their absurdity yeah we found it <laughs> okay. But it does not appear that he's moving. Oh wait, never mind. No, yeah, he is <laughs> moving around like a little little crab. Yeah, put him in the tube of jelly. You know the one. Yeah, that's the one. There it is. A bit banged up, but yeah, he'll walk it off. Come on, yeah. buddy, keep your head above water. I mean, backed up, but yeah. Oh well. Oh he didn't no. Make it after all. Just yeah, put put him in a box. Flush him down a space hole. You know how it is. Hopefully, the dynamite we put in that box will come in <laughs> handy to someone down there. Oh, there it goes. You're under attack by Imperial Star Destroyer. And for God's sake, who designed this chair? It's terrible. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that chair, his Admiral Akbar's chair, would go pretty hard. Secret plans, Princess Leo. I will bring them safely to Alderaan. You guys, uh, feeling comfortable talking to each other like that? <laughs> you look like you're reluctantly in love. It's so wild how years later we had, uh, this, it wasn't solo, was it? It had to have been solo, right? Yeah, it was it was solo that led into literally moments before episode four. It's so wild it, because Star Wars has legends and canon, obviously. Disney took over what was once canon. A lot of it became legends. And there's the argument between primary canon, secondary canon, tertiary canon, where, I mean, let's be real. Star Wars and the Crystal Star with Waru and the Anti-Force wasn't necessarily the most popular. Uh, Timothy Zahn, however, was very much, very much uh, regarded as heavily canon. Um then you have people like me that are like, nah, Force Unleashed makes sense. And I kind of just piss everybody off because Force Unleashed has never been canon. But I head canon it in. And it's, it's so funny. Like, the Star Wars fan base is so strange. I don't. It's kind of like the Ruby fan base. I don't touch the actual fan base of the 10-foot pole. But I absolutely love Star Wars as I grew up with it. And it's very interesting just seeing the old perception of the story versus what we have now in the new story perception of the story as somebody that will you know likes the sequel trilogy i'll watch the sequel trilogy i'll sit down and watch it i'll point out plot points here that i don't like such as the whole romance plot points that i greatly despise i actually gagged in theaters at that i thought that was incredibly shoehorned in but i mean as somebody that'll sit down and watch the prequels originals and the sequels right i mean i'll watch it i'll discuss star wars it just gets hard with the fan base if that makes sense if there does i even have my lightsaber over there i got my i think it was an ultra saber actually point is i love star wars so see going back and seeing stuff like this is very interesting considering how far we came how we got like abeloth how some of the extended materials the rpg we got like the now now and stuff like that we got waru and the anti-force and then you know we go into disney canon and thrawn comes back and revan apparently comes back in the exegol scene and there's a little it's very interesting to just see the progression of the series and how things were reimagined versus how things were initially imagined. Yeah, that's definitely a good place for that. I see absolutely no problems arising here. Lord Vader, what a great privilege to have you unexpectedly graced my humble domain. Uh, nobody ever said that. Lord Vader and unexpectedly don't really. We received your grain shipment score. Oh, he brought it to Grain. And the Emperor has sent me here to personally repay you for your treachery. Amazing. Grain treachery. It's felt the best of men. 
I mean, to be fair, like, Vader is effectively a lapdog. Like, yes, Vader is the most feared Jedi killer, but he is the Emperor's lapdog and definitely hampered down by his prosthetics. Wasn't it by Lucas' own admission, right? That, like, Vader was, like, six... It was either 60 or 80. I can't remember. Someone have to quote me on that. Like, 60% of his max potential having suffered his injuries on Mustafar, right? Something along those lines. And that's where you get into Force Unleashed and Palpatine constantly looking for a new apprentice to rule by his side. <laughs> that kind of thing, right? Vader was, for all intents and purposes, a lapdog. Yeah, don't worry, guys. It's not what you think. He's just very disappointed he, he let Darth Vader down. Poor he's guy's just sleeping. taking it hard. Sleeping. Well, that sure was a lot of fun. But that's it for X-Wing. Make sure to join us next time when we get a taste of the dark side of the Force. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot how huge this was. That is going to have to get turned down. If you want to see the original with the original sound, definitely go check out the original because Disney owning the Star Wars soundtrack, I don't want to take any chances with that. However, but yes, no, if you haven't checked it out, definitely go check out the original series. I didn't know that we had you know, like Markiplier in this. I really didn't. That's very fascinating to me. This had to have been huge. Like, I don't know. Like, I had heard about it, but I hadn't really engaged with it and thought it was still pretty niche. But I mean, eight years ago, 6.2. Oh my God, this was eight years ago. This felt like this was like 15. I'm going to go need a nap after this. But let me know what you guys think. If you have not seen this series or you want more John Tron, go check out more John Tron. Definitely go check them out if you uh, enjoy this brand of content. And uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what your thoughts are on, I guess, the Star Wars community as a whole. Do you, like me, not necessarily associate with them? Or are you in it? Are you proud to be one? Do you also have a lightsaber? If so, do you go Ultra Saber, Saber Forge? What kind of lightsaber do you use? And is it sparring grade like mine? Um, I guess, what is your favorite Star Wars fact? And uh, do you also head canon Force Unleashed as canon, much to everyone's headache around you? Let me know in the comment section, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next.